Hi, I'm Michael Killen. My guest is Arabella Decker. That My concerns you and the world. Well, it's the environment. What I've been seeing is I've been traveling back and forth across this country monthly and the changes and the absolute disaster that I have been viewing from up above on a plane. The things like mangrove swamps that have disappeared, dirt going into the Gulf of Mexico, uh, that is soil to grow crops, but instead is just polluting the water there. Uh, people who've, who've denuded the land in order to build houses but because it's not economically feasible to build houses, they don't build houses. So what you've got is land that's just standing there with roads and sidewalks and nothing else. So you've looked what's happening around the world, mm -hmm. and you see we are damaging the environment. Yes. And I believe you're, I know, you're planning a big art show a year from approximately now mm -hmm. to... Uh, Bring this issue to the public. Bring the issue to this, the public. And I'd just so. like to... And we have teamed up. Mm -hmm. Now, and did you ask me to make five really, really outstanding paintings that will grab and hold the attention of everyone who walks by your gallery? Of course. And That is expected of you. <laughs> the yeah. art exhibition we are going to present to the world. Yeah. But... The title of the event will be Environment. The Environment. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we're going to look at the world as a sphere, a limited space, as we live in it today. Not something with four corners or something that's flat, but a sphere. What happens in China affects the air in California. What happens in Europe affects what happens in Africa. We're going to look at it as a sphere. The plan is Half Moon Bay, and then we drop it? No, we'll push it as far as we can push it, so that people see it. It's not, the purpose of the pieces will not be to have them stop in a locale, but to affect others in other places so that they can respond with their work. I think if enough people start to talk about this issue all over the world, we may have a chance to change things. Uh, as it stands right now, I don't see much change here from my viewpoint. But the title of the event... Will be Environment. The Environment. You're going to make... I'm going to make four paintings that'll be six feet by four feet, and you will do the same. And we'll make two paintings. Yours will be horizontal, mine will be vertical. that will be three feet by four. I'd like to jump back mm -hmm. to the schedule. So. The event starts in November, runs for about a month, and long before that event, mm -hmm. you and I are going to be talking to museum directors, curators, and we're going to explain what we're doing. The word will get out, and mm -hmm. some of them will be calling you, some of them will be calling me, and then we put our heads together maybe sometimes. Mm -hmm. and. We sign up another museum. This is one of my paintings, and it's called Climate Change. And it's a big painting, in a way, relatively speaking. Six foot long, five foot high. These are the landscapes that I'm doing that are fugitive, that are disappearing. In Florida, the orange groves are disappearing, slowly but surely. And instead, we're building How houses. many countries around the world has your art been shown? Oh my, uh, Tasmania, Austria, Sweden, Poland, France, England, and of course in the United States. So that, how did you and I come together? You know, I'm, yes, I'm a painter, but you know, my history is primarily in business, and... Well, Ruth Waters introduced me to you. Yep. She is a founder, she's a sculptor first of all, and she's a painter, and she's the founder of 1870 and of Twin Pines Art Center, and also the president of the Peninsula Art Museum. And she called you and put us together? Yes. Hi, I'm Michael Killen. My guest has been Arabella Decker.